Oh yeah. Oh, let me get rid of this. <laughs> G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in Ruggeroo Bayou. Just sorting out from this last werewolf hunt. Let's get rid of all this. I remember to bring callers this time, so I'll do that now. Alright, we're going to need Feral Hog Caller, which is... Where are you? There. We're going to need a Deer Grunt, which will be there so for the White Tail Feral Hog. Black Bear also. We also have uh, Bobcat here, which might answer to the Jackrabbit. No, I don't know. Hey, going, Anna Rogers. We have Boom Slang and Sebastian. Hope you are all having a good one. Now, let me just sort this out before I go uh, crazy. <laughs> um, we're going to need ammo. Alright, so just take your time when you're setting up. Make sure you got everything. We might even bring the bow. Depends on how much weight we got left. Alright, so these, where they go? Should be my 7 mils. Yes, they are. They're for me ball pup. So I got a feral hog. We've got to shoot with a rifle today. There's a competition on. So I thought, why not? Now we bought this for the bobcat. Now we're looking for... Not them, they're the government, so they're way too big. This is them here, I think, 223 Nozzler. So we'll whack some of them in. We'll probably only need a couple of packets of them because we're not going to run across a lot of bobcats. Believe me, <laughs> I've been out here before. All right, so I've got a few packs of them. I'll grab one more. Let's see if the how much the bow weighs. Uh, weapons, sorry. What am I doing? Uh, i got the... That's my lightest one, the Python Parker. Um, this is my favourite, which is the compound. Alright, so we might be able to whack a few arrows in as well. Why not? Here they are here. Standard compound. I don't use the tracers. I have a dog to track for me, so I won't need them. Alright, so we've got... Uh, some of these aren't full packets of 10. Can we fit one more magnum in? Oh, might even be able to fit two. One more. Oh, yeah, we're at 100%. So we have our equipment. We have our dog. So we can get out of that screen. You did very well on your werewolf mission. Completed it. Very good. So you get that completed. You get 6,666 GM. You get the double tree stand. You get a trophy. I got the other trophy too. I got over 1,000 treats. So I got two trophies this year. Which is very good. And this, you know, the 6,000 GM, well, that's going to pay for your, you know, your bullets that you use. Part of the gun if you had to buy it, because the gun is dear. But, and you sort of only use it that once a year for the werewolf. But you can put normal 308 bullets in it, I think, and, you know, shoot elk and bears and what have you with it. So we'll get the dog happening. Say, so, yeah, I actually, um,. <laughs> I had another hunt after that last video I made of the werewolf. I think I got 10 to 12 on that hunt. Probably lost four that got wounded and I couldn't find them. Um, then I went back and, uh, yeah, it was gone. But I did, um, on the first part of the werewolf hunt, unfortunately here in Melbourne, we had a big storm and we had a blackout. And I didn't have power for, I don't know, over 48 hours. So I sort of missed out on the start of that hunt. Which is, uh, you know. So in the last two years, I think I've gotten, uh, two years together, 208 werewolf. So that averages out at 104 a year. I would have done, I reckon you could have added another 30 to 40 to that if I had had another two days in. That I missed out on. So my aim next year is to uh, bring that total up to over 300. So I get the 250 achievement. Got a few uh, albinos this year, a few nice gold ones. They were worth 25 treats each. That was pretty cool. You just missed out 1k treats. Oh, I see, yeah, uh, 167 short. But you, now you know for next year, collect all the skulls because they help with the treats. Every normal werewolf, I think, is worth 10 treats. 
and then every albino or gold one, rare one, will be worth 25. So if you get, you know, a hundred werewolf or close to it and all your treats, and in that hundred or near a hundred there's a, some albino and gold, you'll get your thousand treats. Yes, Bjorn. I thought I didn't get it, and then I looked today and it was there. Now, usually best on this map, instead of wandering around like a blind man, so I'm going the wrong way, is put a pointer. You just have to click with your mouse on the map. And now when we look at our hunter, mate, bring up tab. There we are. We're only walking this way, mate. But we're going to end up walking back to the start of the... The start of the, <laughs> the thing. Your dog was such a low level, he really wasn't much help tracking. Yeah, but it will leveling up, you know. They start out pretty bad at the low level, but... Doing that werewolf thing really does level them up pretty cool. All right, looks like I have wandered out the wrong way here. So I'll do, we'll have a little run to the, to the outpost and come out the opposite way. Now, I could have went straight to the middle of this and where my ducks are. We're not having a duck hunt today. So I thought we'd walk. I usually go the opposite um, outpost when I start. But you tend to get a few more bear out that way. So I thought we'd go up the middle today and soon we'll find us a nice fat hog I think last year I was at at this place and I was hunting the feral hogs and bears and I was in a competition uh, for the biggest feral hog and I got one that was over 1100 in the score and I got second place and I was only hunting them for like a few hours so I got really lucky I shot it with the G10 close up it was going to run at me and i just blasted it in the lungs oh god okay. geez that's a big one you can see the tusks on it and i'd already been killed that day by a couple of pigs so oh we got us a, a white tail we'll go to crouch now just click on your hunter mate and it'll take sort of where the white tail is and we just want to stay in crouch and i'm not sure which way the wind's blowing so we can see a leave moving around. I didn't bring a wind indicator. Now we can shoot the the deer with the bullpup or the bow and arrow. I'll probably go the bullpup. <laughs> because at the moment I really have no idea which way the wind's blowing. Now my white tail indicator on the hunter mate will be pretty accurate. Because I'm pretty high level on tracking and spotting and what have you with white tail. Now, I really don't want to move up too much closer because this thing, if the wind's okay, we'll be walking dead straight at us, pretty much. So we're just going to go up to these group of trees here and hang back. We'll give it another call. Keep it interested. And get behind a tree. If the wind's blowing that way a bit, we'll shelter you a little bit from wind. But yeah, keep um, using the dog. Like, my dog now is level 25. And I take it... Yeah, unless we're having a bird hunt, then I bring a lot Labrador. But every other hunt, I bring my dog. I was just telling it to sit, stand, come here. Actually helps level it up. Because you're giving it commands. So, you know, all helps. All right. We'll give this thing another call. You've got to be patient with the white tail, especially males. They're a bit... Oh, he's called again. Oh, man, he is still way out there. We actually are going to crawl up a little closer, mate. Now, if you've got a good dog, see how he walks. They actually act like you act. So if you go to crouch and just crawl along, your dog will get better at it as well. And they don't uh, collide into you um, like they do in the Call of the Wild. You know, the dog sort of crashes in there, you go to shoot, and the next minute you're moving, <laughs> the dog's pushing you. It's like, what's going on, dog? Yeah, you know, just keep at it with the dog. 
I actually like them in this game. Like, you probably notice, like, when you're near the water with your dog, you turn around and your dog would be swimming. It was like acting like a dog. You're like, oh, cool. The dog swimming. All right, now we're just going to take it easy. All right, we're going to get our dog to just sit and be calm. No, no, no. Get down. Lay down. All right, dog should stay like that unless you move a lot. You can make it stay as well. There's a stay command. All right, we'll give it a call and just see if we can uh, stir it up. Now, it's, it's really hard to tell which way the wind's blowing here. It is blowing. It looks like it's going back and forth looking at the grass. That's why I'm probably using a rifle on this one. Hey, Michael Bateman, how you going, mate? Good to see you. I had a bit of a rest this week. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's only a small one. It's only a tiny little bugger. It'll light this freaking thing up, right? We'll give it another call. I oh, know we won't actually. It's right there. Oh, that's right. I remember space bar holds my breath. Going from one game to the other. This is a nice scope. It's a German one. All switch, all swatch. I don't know how you say it. Uh, deer has decided to camp behind the tree. So I'll give it another call. If it stops, just give it a call. You can't overcall them. And it's right behind that tree. It's just called again. So the wind may be good here. But it is a bit, a bit vicious. Come on, buddy, walk out. And we want a nice long shot if we can get it. Yeah, you can go the hard shot if you're really confident. That's cool. Yeah, the wind's blowing sideways. I just saw a leaf come across then. So I think we're cool. There he is. Alright, just a bit of patience. And it all pays off. And press the wrong button and you end up uh, sitting down. I'll have a little look at it. I'll squash the... You can sort of squash the grass down a little bit in this game. Walked over it. So you can see only tiny. You probably get, I don't know, maybe 40 or 50, maybe. GM, let's have a look. Oh, we hit the intestine and whatever. That's still good. Still 100% trophy. Oh, I ain't going to get 19. Like, seriously, that is tiny. So, uh, no no trophy shots. I'm in a competition for Whitetail, the Feral Hogs. I think the Bears also. They've all got a competition happening. All right, so I'm going to get the dog up now. There she is. Now, just doing that, getting the, you know, get up, sit down, it does help. All right, some parts of this water is really deep and you won't be able to get across, so you're going to have to look at your mini-map and just sort it out if you want to go from one area to another. It's pretty easy. Now, we'll just give it the game a minute after that shot so all the animals calm down. It actually doesn't take long. You know, once you sort of spook an area, as you can see, there's no spook thing in this game. And look at that. We're just out the outpost and we've got our first... First day of white tail. <clears throat> I'm hoping for something a lot bigger than that though. That is uh that is pretty small. So it's called elephant, white tail and pig. As long as even walking around here when you get right in the middle areas, like you'll see little bits of water and sometimes you'll hear ducks quacking. If you had a shotgun or the twenty two or the slug gun on you. You can take them out sometimes without, you know, having a duck set up. I've gotten a fair few like that. Just by chance, you know. All 
Uh, let's look across with our binoculars because we know bears don't, you know, they're not going to come to any caller in this game. So we just keep an eye out for them because they will be just like sauntering along very slowly. Sometimes you've got to make sure they're not in really deep water and, that, you know, and shoot them and then you can't get to them. So always be wary of that. Some parts of this water the animal will be able to walk through, but you won't. At this part here, we should be fine. It's like a little land bridge. I actually really like this map. It's very atmospheric. Now I suppose as a as a person starting, you could come here to shoot the white tail with the what is it the two four three, and just enjoy the map and hopefully you don't get killed by uh you, you can shoot a fell hog with the um, shotgun and slug, same with the bear. So you could be able to shoot nearly every animal here. You know, the ducks with the shotgun as well, with the bird shot. Just got to use the right ammo every time in this game. So if you shot a bear with buckshot, the game would say, you know, you're not allowed. Even if you picked it up, they'd disqualify it. It's a good map. It has a few uh, interesting little areas on it that's good it seemed to be walking into the wind now which is good like a Michael Jackson moonwalk <laughs> I've got a track up here let's see what it is first track we've seen I got a feral hog male. So I wanted through that way. You know, game time. About 40 minutes ago. There we go, there's this track here. And them werewolf were pretty cool though, weren't they? I enjoyed that. And it's only, though, they're only on for that, like, week. And then they're done. We'll get this pig a call. I don't think it's that close. I think it's the hunter mate giving me a false thing. Let's see this track. So when your hunter mate goes like that and you've just shot an animal, usually means it's just around you. It's right next to you. I'm not sure it is, though. Now, these pigs will kill you if... Uh, if they get a chance and they're angry, they will run straight at you. And if they hit you, you die. There's no um, no injury. You'll just be dead. So <laughs> it makes it cool. I like it that they can kill you. Uh, my dog pushed me then. See? Uh, don't do that. Although, unlike Call of the Wild, when you have a gun in your hand, you go to shoot, the dog don't touch you. But I think they said they um, fixed that by making the dog not collide with you. I think they took its hitbox off. So, like, the dog will still walk in here, but it won't push you. So, you know, I suppose that's a bit of a fix. Sort of a fix that's not a fix. But, yeah, as long as it works. Hey, P.A. Hey, how you going, mate? I'm going to have to go collect my... I've got a pig barrel on another map. And I'm going to pop it somewhere. Maybe on Logger's Point. Then have an open, uh, you know, hunt, multiplayer hunt. Put a tent right near the, the thing. and All right, got a pig call. It's a female, and it's back that way. I don't really, the females aren't worth shooting, to be honest. You'll get like two or three GM. So like, the bullet will cost more than the pig. The males are well worth shooting, females, not so much. Unless they're about to kill you, or then defend yourself. <laughs> Although close up today, I'm in trouble. 
I don't have a close-up weapon on me. I didn't bring a pistol, didn't bring a shotgun. But I do health. A couple of health packs on me, so if worst comes the worst. Man, it sounds like it's running outside here. It's just the game. Yeah, so I'm going to do a setup for the feral hogs. I might even do buy another barrel and have two two barrels on the map. And all you really need is a shotgun of slug. You know, if, if you've only got the 243. So you bring the 243 because you're on loggers point because there'll be um, them cats that are on there, whatever they're called, the bobcat. Uh, mule deer, white tail, coyote. And... You know, feral hogs and pheasants and rabbits. It's a good map, actually, for learners. And my Alagos Point's got like a thousand towers on it, a heap, <laughs> a heap of tents. And I went crazy with it once, and I've never deconstructed it, which I should. I should take some of the towers off and put them on different reserves. Uh, let's see if we get an answer. I've got to say, a few times I've been looking at pigs in front of me and one's come behind me and killed me. You don't hear it till it's too late. And then the whole screen goes red and you go, Oh, I'll be killed. Now that is a female, isn't it, Colin? I was hoping she might have a male with her. It's over there somewhere. There another call. Get her interested. Let's see how we go. Now I feel like playing this game more at the moment than Call of the Wild. I just I like I don't know. I just I think Call of the Wild's got a few too many bugs at the moment. At least we can see which way the wind's blowing here. Although well, this pig is very slow. Now a lot of times when I come here, I didn't today, is I'd bring the G10 or any shotgun with slugs. Because then if you do shoot one and another one decides to run at you, you've got that shotgun to, you know, or even a pistol, 454, <laughs> to take out the feral hog running at you really close. Because you can't just pop a scope off on this game. Like if you, you know, bring out your bull pup and you're looking for it, I just can't press the middle button and the scope goes away. <laughs> you got to go to the inventory to drag it off. So better not be just a one female feral hog by herself. They will come to the call, the feral hogs. They're pretty good at that. You know, like that white tail earlier. The animals will respond to calls in this game. Pretty cool. I'll give her another call. See if she calls. Let's look behind me in case. I'm hoping to get a bear. I usually get a few here. Like you'll just see them wandering along. And a lot of the times it's a real long shot you've got to take. Or else you lose it, it'll just wander into the forest and run, you know, it'll be out of render range. What are you barking at? Was coming a pig? Oh, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be surrounded by feral hogs. It's not like her to just start barking. Alright, she sat down there anyway. My dog. Just sit, mate. Lay down. Uh, if this thing doesn't show up in a minute, we'll just keep walking. 
Oh, that sounds better. That sounds like a male. A female. Oh, it's coming this way now. Well, we've got a couple of them. I want it too close. All right, let me look here. All right, it's telling me it's sort of that way. All right, give another call. That's the problem with both games. Like a lot of times you get, you know, a heap more females than males. And in this game, females are useless. The coyotes are alright, bears, stuff like that. When it comes to deer, elk, they're useless. Pigs, the females aren't worth anything. sitting waiting for a female pig to come in. Is that it? There it is. Yeah, there it ran. I think the wind then blew. Maybe it smelt me. But the males are good, they're a lot bigger. And it's the tusks that, um, you know, they're, that's what's worth something. Hoping to find bear tracks, and uh, sometimes if they're only like, you know, 20 minutes old, you just follow them. Because the bear won't be super far away. Well, they only got a reserve to walk around on, right? So, I sort of track them down. All right, just keep calling and hopefully something calls back. I want to make sure we're not walking around in circles. All right, we're still heading there. And we'll probably come up around this way. Usually find some bears around here. Sort of everywhere. They're sort of spread out. Even when you first come in, if you start on this side up here, sometimes you find a bear or two just walking down here in this area. And you get bobcat and a whitetail there as well. There's another track here, let's see what it is. Well, it's a pig. It's the male pig. Ah, oh, it said it was only like 25 minutes ago. What's that called? That's a female. Oh, did that pop then? My bad. Oh, well. Oh, we'll call him to see if we can find this male pig, man. Now, 
As we saw with our female pigs are sensitive, all the animals in this game are hypersensitive compared to Call of Wild. As long as if you know it's coming in, it's best just to, you know, be still, be out of the wind and sort of crouch or, you know, prone. I don't prone a lot in this game. <laughs> you just wipe out your vision. Unless, you know, you're on the snow or some crap, maybe in Australia. Uh, our pig went this way. All right, going in pretty straight line. Hey, Skippy, how you going, man? You got power. You got power, mate? I had no power for, like, over 48 hours. It was horrible. <laughs> I missed the start of the werewolf hunt. Which is a pain. Ah, uh, this pig. Oh, one to fourteen minutes ago. This this pig's pretty close. Alright, so it is around here. They said back there was one to fourteen minutes. Hopefully we haven't scared it. Alright, oh, what pig are you? You're a male. That's our boy. That's our boy. I'm going to actually stand up so we can get a better view. So if you get that track 1 to 15 or even, you know, 10 to 20 minutes, the pig won't be really far away. So you pretty much just, you know, try to go quiet. And we'll see if we can call this uh, fat thing in from here. Hopefully it walks out that way and we get a nice shot at it. This way it might end up being a headshot. You got power, no laptop. What happened to the laptop, mate? You got desktop? You asked me about monitors the other day. Don't let me down, pig. Oh, you fried the motherboard. That's why it's probably been having problems. It's probably been uh, <laughs> slowly melting as you've been using it. So, yeah, that's uh, what we're going to do now then. You're going to have to get a new computer. Right? Might as well get a desktop. They don't fry so easy. It should be coming straight at me, this thing. Wind looks good, so it's blowing at me now. What are you doing, dog? Alright, you're laid down. Stay laid down. down yeah get a um get a proper computer mate a real one laptops are for people on the go that work in offices and all that crap mate not for gaming come on pig make a noise where are you Is 
just wait and say for the desktop PA he's picked out a good one for me. I was the two three, that's not bad. Hey Zach, how you going, mate? Yeah, they they've sort of they go up and down in price. Like the one I'm using now, when I bought it, I paid three thousand two hundred for it. But back then it had the best card and the best i7 and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Still a good computer. It's not worth that much anymore. <laughs> I tell you that much. I got another one on the other desk I paid two grand for, which is, uh, only, you know, it has less gigabyte RAM and it only has 16, not 32, but otherwise pretty much the same stats as the one I'm using. But the motherboard isn't as good. You can't run an SLI setup or anything on it. Oh, there you are. Is that you? Oh, you're previous. You're not it. These are pre-built. All right. Oh, and have a 3060 Ti, man. That'll be awesome. You'll be able to run any game. You'll be able to run it in 4K. I'll get a 3060 in this computer I got when it's, um, <laughs> you know, when they're cheaper. When they probably bring out the 4060. <laughs> then the 3060 will be cheaper. There it is. Look at that. That's a big fatty, isn't it? Uh, it's a female. Where's me male? They're not together, are they? I don't want this male killing me, mate. Sneaking up and... Uh Knocking me out one. There she is. But he called first. And then I have no idea. So that's someone that was coming in earlier, I think. I better make sure. Because if she's coming in, the male could be coming in. Yeah, I got mine built for me. I didn't build it. I had it built for me by professionals, both of them. Oh, one was already like a pre-built one, the $2,000 one. Well, they did have another computer, but I sort of fried the card in it. But it was over 10 years old, so... <laughs> then I had to buy a spare for my niece to use. Hence the two grand. Uh, there she is. She's going to come in super close, man. I wonder, uh, let's um, take out that. She's going straight at me, man. You can hear her feet now in the water. Look at that head. Oh, she stopped. There she is. No, 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 no. I pressed the automatic walk button. I think we hit it. 
I'm not sure the mail's coming in. I've got blood. All right, intestines. This thing will die, but it will run for a billion zillion miles. I'll get the dog on it. I just want to have a look here and see if we can see the male at all. That's why I used the bow and arrow there. Oh, shit, man. He's there. He's there. That's another female. She's right there. There she goes. I wonder if the male was coming that way. All right, we'll get onto the dog. She's off. So she'll just keep tracking. We'll, we'll help. <laughs> All right, this might have run that way, or that's the way it came in. Oh, she's still moving. Bow and arrow is not a bad option because you know you won't scare away a bear if it's near or try and keep the area nice and calm. It's a matter, dog. Looking confused, mate. Found a roaming one. What's this one? Looks like she's uh, been outsmarted. So it might be roaming after it's been shot, but we did have tracks back this way. So we'll just check this side of the water. So the dog has failed me. <laughs> Thank you, dog. Alright, so we've got one on this side. Is this the running track? Trotting. Alright. F this pig. That's a <laughs> if it was a male, I'd really try. Uh, we'll try one more time here. We did have fleeing tracks. Then we've got her confused with uh, roaming. All right, you're fleeing. And I reckon, why are you telling me you fleed that way? What's this one? All right, fleeing. All right, maybe it did flee this way. Keep walking this way and see if we can pick up the next track. So yeah, it'd be good to get a new computer, Skippy. It'd be awesome. Ah, uh, that's a flying track. So. You're the male. Let's not worry about the female now. She's not worth it. Said he is pretty much in front of me that way, just across the other side of the water. Let's just stay low and slow. Oh, he's got tracks everywhere too here. Look, you can see him shining up. I'll just get on this ridge. And see a bit better. All right, let's just stop.
Now, I think the wind might be okay here. Dog. Let's lay down, buddy. Alright, we'll just recheck the hunter, mate. Alright, so right in front of us. I bet it will walk a bit crooked, or it can't walk in a dead straight line. Because of all the crap on the ground. Let's check in front of here and the sides. We might lose it behind there, but it will pop out. Then if your feral hog um, spotting isn't as high, or then you won't get a really accurate thing on the hunter mate, but it'll be round about there. This is one we want. We're in a competition. We've got to shoot a male feral hog with a rifle. It's the only reason I bring the shotgun today. I do like blasting them with the G10. Not today. I'll have to save that for another day. I wish it would just make a noise for me. I'm wanting it to call back. There it is. Look at those tusks. There we go. He's only a medium sized male. 540 to 930. I'd say he's probably 600 and something. So he's not huge. You can see the nice tusks on him. I'm hearing something here. Please do not have another pig coming at me that I can't see. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Are we going to lose him a bit behind these trees? Oh, we've lost him already. So we're going to have to wait till he walks out and then we'll take a nice shot. Well, hopefully a nice shot. Uh, I want him to, if he walks out there, it'd be awesome. It's not going to call for a little bit just so we, if he pops out there. Look at that on the hunter, mate. He is like right there. It's telling me. We know it's still a bit off. Uh, it's a bit more back here. There he is. There he is. Yeah, he should come out. Which way are you going to go, bud? I want him to come out here. Let's not lose him. There he is. Man, I should have hit the line. Let's see. Intestines again, what am I doing? I'm in back. Come on, dog. Get into action. Rock and roll. Where are you? <laughs> uh, hopefully it runs pretty much dead straight for us. It'd be nice. Alright, uh, dog's gonna get confused at the water. Alright, uh, this way, dog. A couple of tracks here. Oh, let her take the lead. See how it goes. Alright, that's not popping. Let's go over this one. Alright, still fleeing. 
Now this will kill it. Like the other one would die that female, but um, I'd imagine. Come on, girl. What's the matter? See if she picks it up just from a track and not blood. Well, you're gonna go around in circles, mate. Can't be too far. It's been running straight, so there we go. Ah, that's it, girl, right in front of you. Look. And the next thing is what you want to see sometimes is more blood on the ground. So then you know it's nearly dead. You go, all right, it's bleeding out. We've got a track there. It looks like it's going straight across. Oh, is that it dead over there? What is that over there? Uh, that's a shiny uh, bit of stuff. Alright, so it's pretty shallow, so you can walk through this. Oh, got a duck there. Somewhere. I heard it. I'm not going to click on it, because... So I said, bring the shotgun every now and again. You'll get a duck without um, having a duck set up. I like the noises here. It's like sort of jungly noises sometimes. All right. We could have... Is this its body up here? Do we have something up here dead? Or just another track? Uh, yeah, it's dead. It's dead. Here's the other tracks here. So, there we go. So, that's what you wanted to find was the blood. We'll get the dog to finish it off. It's only just there, but just... Should add to her... Leveling. You, you going to do something, dog? Uh, right in front of you. Right in front of you, mate. Alright, she's not playing the game today for some reason. Uh, let's look at our mail. And check out the tusks. Not super big. The problem is, like, they look good when they're walking up to you, these pigs. When And the same with the wild boars in the classic. When you see them dead... They look, look a bit like a sack of potatoes with teeth. The modelling at close up. I wish they'd redo the pigs. Uh, once again, you know, I shot too far back for some reason. We're going to get 33, so not bad. If we had picked up that female, we're lucky to would have got three. So, yeah. There we go, we'll sell that. All right, we'll check out where we are on the map. Oh, we'll go up to here and I'll show you this. What is this here? We'll find out. It's one of those um, points of interest they have on the map. Spike, Hagar, man. Oh, so there's a duck. See, it's just over there in the water. So if you had your shotgun, you could actually, you know, sneak up and either shoot it in the water or, or whistle. Um, what button did I put on whistle? I thought it was X. I obviously moved it. I know X is that button. That's my psycho button. Hang on. <laughs> And I'm walking this way. Hey guys, Spike. Hope you're having a good one, mate. Back in the classic. There's another duck. All 
Alright, we're going to keep our eye open for bear tracks. Well, there's a white tail roaming around somewhere. That's saying it's close, but I doubt it is. Just in case, let's give a call and see if we get an answer. It'd be nice to get a bobcat also. Hey, Jake, how you going? You have a 3060 build and don't get over 110 on any map. Yeah, maybe that's because the map has a limit on it. Might not be your computer. There could be a limit on some games on how many FPS they let you have. I'm not sure. Just make sure you got it on unlimited. But 110 is not bad. Jesus, that's not too bad. Like people used to brag if they got like, you know, 30 FPS. Like, Ugh. 1080, 60, and 30 FPS. So yeah, whatever. That's nothing nowadays. <laughs> uh, there's the point of interest there. As you can see, it's like a, a bit of a shack thing. We'll go over and have a look. I just want to make sure. We have no pigs or deers around us here. Yeah, Skippy's on the on the laptop. You don't get as many FPS. On Siege, you used to get 280 with filters. Now you can't run over 100. I don't know what the issue is with that. Then, like I know some games do put an FPS limit on their game. I don't know why. It's probably through so it just you know for other people it's more optimized or something. Especially if the games come from console, and then they put it on PC. Unless they do it like GTA or you know Rockstar, like they've done GTA Five and then uh, Red Dead Redemption. It took them a couple of years to rebuild it, and they bring it out on PC, so it works beautiful. It's not a console port. <laughs> right, let's go over here. Wow, I'd be using it if I had it, mate. I'd be using it right now. <laughs> I'm still happy with this computer at the moment. It does what I need. Although for Star Citizen, I am going to need something bigger, I think, unless they optimise that game. Although I don't really play it much because it's not really a game at the moment. It's more of a sandboxy type spaceship thing. It has a lot of bugs. So. <laughs> Let's check this out for you if you've never seen it. There's a few points of interest on the map. You don't get an achievement, I don't think. <laughs> there are collectibles on all these maps. Is that one? No, that is a, as a, a roaming duck over there. So yeah, you'll find collectibles on all these maps. Uh, whether it be a mushroom or, you know, in a special time of year, they'll have collectibles. On the Australian map, I found the Aboriginal knife. So they do have different collectibles. All right, so you can't get through the door. And if you get in, you may not ever get out. So... Don't push your luck. Alright, I'm going to put another dot on our map. We're going to go up this way, I think, maybe a bit. Yeah, 3060 Ti, man. That must be awesome. I just got a normal 1080. It's not even a Ti. <laughs> It's a game wood card though, it's a nice card. So yeah.
I don't have an FPS count on. I can with um, Shadow Play. I just usually don't bother putting it on. But like here, like if you look at the sky, you'll get like huge FPS in these, these games. There you go, the ducks. But then when you go on the growth, um, you know, canopy and that, the FPS will drop. Look that one in the middle. It's a different colour to all the other ones. Might be a bit of a rarey one or something. Ah, oh, looking for bear pool, bear tracks, man. Uh, feral hogs. I do like feral hogs in this game. I've killed a ton of them. <laughs> Mainly all males. Mainly all my animals I kill, apart from ducks and geese, you can't tell. Uh, males. And dogs, too. They're hard to tell when they're running at you. Uh, the males usually do have a broader head on the coyote and the wolf. I haven't uh, even seen a bear track today, man. Oh, what's that? Oh, pigs. I was calling. There could be a nice male amongst them. Uh, sorry about that. There goes a car past my house. It is daytime here. Had a truck next door revving up earlier. Maybe they're pouring concrete or some crap. Oh, where'd they go? There. What are you? You got tusks? There's like three or four of them. They appear to be wandering off. I don't think they're going to be able to cross here. Look, that's more. You won't be able to cross there, as you can tell. It's a nice place to have a look around. Let's see if we can spot a bear. I don't know. Pigs are calling. Uh, you're a female, and you're with probably that bunch who are over there. Uh, they're still wandering off. They're probably going to come out that way. Probably worth putting a... I don't know. Is it worth putting a barrel on this map? I was, I'll probably do Logger's Point, though, first. Uh, I probably would have go this way. Anyway. So I'll get across. Oh, you. Oh, you're that white tail. That is somewhere out there as well. Can we get across here? Yeah, that should be cool. According to the hunter, mate. There's like a little land bridge thing here through the water. So I don't even know if the pigs will come towards us or just keep walking away. Okay, dog. pig to call. <laughs> oh, there's my duck set up over there.
And the pigs will be sort of over there on that side, I think. Man, it's the sun to come out a bit more here, so, like it's gone night time all of a sudden. Uh, there's a pig called then. Yeah, they're still over that side. Thought they would be. It's nice to see a bear just here, wouldn't it? And every now and again, you get lucky and you just, you know, you look up and there's a black bear. They actually come in fur variations, so they can be red in colour, but it's still a black bear. Or they can be blonde, they have a blonde or a cinnamon, something like that, and they're uh, yeah, still black bear. <laughs> But we can't call them in in this game, which is good in a way. You've got to hunt them. You know, you've got to find the track or see it in the distance. You can't just, you know, call them in. Might have a look at our pigs. I'm not going to call them at the moment. I'm going to see if we can wander over there and get it. See if there's a male amongst them. I'll just creep around this way. Oh, there's a boat over there. See in the bushes? What is that? I can see blue. And someone's parked their boat up. Oh, we've got um these are the pig tracks here. And they seem like they were over there, or at the back here. Oh, look at what's out. It's gone crazy. That's a male too. Oh, look at that son of a bear one, actually. Settle down, boy. I'll be able to fix you. <laughs> I don't know if the wind it smelt me then. I went crazy. Right, you a male? You're another female over that side. Seraphin's over that side. Now call that. Call pigs. I think we've got pigs behind me as well, so I've got to be careful. That white tail looked not bad. It looked, you know, decent. Had a bit of a rack on it. There, there you are. You stopped. Uh, I might go a long shot. See if we can see it through the freaking scope. Uh, I'm going to mark that with my binoculars now. Uh, press the wrong button. <laughs> uh, hopefully that's marked. Let's check on the map. Yes. Alright, so we'll go over and collect our, our white tail. I should be able to get across over here. So there we go. It did spook. See, the white tail spooked, but we just take our time, give it a call, and it settled down. Hopefully, we can get across here. And then across again. This is the problem. As long as you get across one bit, then you feel like, oh, now I can't cross this to the other way I want to go. Uh, we 
heading the right way because the white tail was near that boat. I'm actually getting to check the boat out, man. That's nice. There's two white tail. This one looked a bit better than our last friend. So hopefully now this one is worth 50. <laughs> 50 GM. Be pretty nice. Let's check this boat, man. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen the boat before. There's our white tail up there glowing. Like an old uh, Quintrex or something. What is it? Thank you, Mr. Motorbike. Oh, it's an old wooden boat. Uh, so they fill it full of barrels and pesticides and uh, poison the kids. You bastards. Uh, can't get up there? <laughs> can't jump in this game. Ah, pretty cool. And my dog's stuck. Yeah, it's a little bit better than our last one. There we go. Looks like we got it through the lung. Maybe a bit forward. But we hit the lungs. Left lung, right lung at 151 meters. Now we're going to get 5.5. 5 .5, so we're going to get 55. And it was a score of 112. How much did it weigh? 84 kilos. And that put me 37th in the biggest white tail. So you can see it's just an average one. All right, now where am I on the map? I might try and work our way around. And see what we can find. Still love to get us a black bear. They don't pay a lot either, but you know, unless it's a good male. Females won't pay heaps, but they are worth just, you know, collecting them. Sort of thing. I might just uh, get on the edge here and just have a little look around. Give it a minute for the animals to all calm down after that gunshot. But sometimes I like to be across, like how we can see the other side now. Because now the animals won't see me. The only thing they can do is maybe smell me. But, you know, something popped out there now. Yeah, you're in prime position here to just pop it off. And then you just walk across. Just walk across that thing there. So we'll just give it a minute. A beautiful map. Like it's a good size. It's actually not a bad size map. Yeah, so you can start there or there. So here we'll start in the swamp. We've got a white tile just outside of there. And we've sort of walked around this way. Or we can start here and straight away. Around here, there'll be you'll hear and see bobcat tracks. They're hard to bobcats and uh, bears and white tail. And once you get down in here, you'll start to find feral pigs. But the bears can be wandering around here just anywhere. So I've got most of my bears probably out in the swamp, I'd imagine. But we haven't even seen a track yet today. I don't mind a few more black bears. I once, um, I think twice or once, I won the, it's called the Bermuda Bear Competition. I think that was black bears. And it was like your best three, you know. So that was an interesting competition. But back then, I'd hunt for the bears for, you know, I'd do it for like the whole two or three days. 
I wouldn't just put in one session. <laughs> so you can win them trophies just through luck or if you really put in the effort over the course of the competition. Well, it could pay off. But then it does feel like you're grinding a bit too sometimes, so... Man, that rain just sounds like real rain to me. It sounds like it's raining outside my house. Ah, oh, it's doing... Oh, another duck, see? It's just a duck out there sitting... quiet except for ducks now I'm just here I don't want ducks I'm not here for ducks today It's a pretty good map, really. You know, although as you can see, it's not super busy unless you're hunting ducks. But even if you get one bobcat or a couple of bears, it really, you know, puts a nice shine on your hunt there. All right, let's cross. This is where you want to see a bear, man. They can run pretty quick bears, though. Once you shoot them, they will take off if they don't fall down dead. And a lot of times they will run around in a freaking circle and confuse you when you're tracking. So getting your bear tracking up is pretty important. <laughs> Man, that duck is just right in front of me here somewhere. There we go. What are you? Should be a female, aren't you? Oh man, you are just there somewhere. That is like insane. There it is. That looks like it's alone. We'll double check that. I'll give another call. There might be a mile with it. No? Although the wind's not being too kind, I don't think. I'm not going to shoot it if it's alone. I'm just going to let it be. I don't want it. See, it's there. So I wish they'd really redo the... We, if you go to the EW streams for this game, ask them to redo the pig and wild boar models. They do look horrible, even when they're walking a bit. I need new models, and I think they'd, you know, get on top of that. They won't let her go. 
mainly because she's alone. She had a male behind her. I think that'd be cool, but she don't. So we'll just keep going our way. Gonna call for a minute on the pig. See if I can, because uh, sometimes it'll just go to the call, and then if you don't call again, it'll just stop there. Yeah, once we cross the water, it should be fine. I'll slow the pig down. start to backtrack now back to this way a bit I will go out a little bit here and then we'll come across this way in search of that bear oh or that buck okay you got my attention how far Alright, we can go up to here on the ridge, I reckon. Yeah, I'm not going to see anything from here, am I? So keep your hunter made away if you're new to the game and just walk up to the spot where you think you can um, get a good shot at the animal. Then look at your hunter, mate, and it still should be flashing where the animal called from. So it gives you that idea of, you know, as a quickly look. So it's still dead in front of us somewhere. So if we stand here, so it should come through here. Out in that water area, I think. Just beyond them trees somewhere. There. There it is. Not a bad one either. Oh, we're going to call it again. I'm going to have to stay standing. Because there's no way I'll be able to see it crouched. Went in behind these trees here. If it comes up out there, we might get a decent shot. And we're going to hope it doesn't smell me. Usually this far away, it won't see you. Unless it looks directly at you, then you know sometimes you're done. They look right at you, and they just turn and run. It's like, ah, oh, damn it, man. So I'm wearing my army get out, because it works well on all deer. And that's our female pig, so we're not even bothered about her. She'll be back at the spot where we call from. All right, this male has stopped. Oh, just somewhere there behind them trees. Just a quick call. And if you do have the bleat, that, that works fine as well. I just prefer the grunt. It sounds better. The bleat used to hurt my ears after a while. <laughs> but they both work very much the same. I don't think there's really much of an advantage one over the other. Maybe the grunt is a little bit better. Oh, where's this deer gone, man? It didn't walk off this way, did it? 
couldn't because this is the call zone here. Am I just not seeing it? <laughs> God, you didn't run, did you? This deer is stalled. Let's double check in this way, right? It was right here. Trying to get an angle. Looking for antlers moving. Even listening for footsteps. Dogs still. I'm gonna make sure the dog's still in a minute. So I can't tell if the wind's blowing that way. We may have it may have run, and I didn't notice. But I don't want to move yet in case he's just standing there. So that was sort of the best buck of the day so far. that way I reckon it nicked off I never take this long man one more call you yeah, mongrel <laughs> Like, I know bucks will stop, and they just stop there, and they sort of, like, listen, and, you know. But by now, uh, this freaking pig is following me, I'm telling you. I'm going to crawl up. I reckon it's gone. I'm going to watch the pig doesn't kill me. Because the deer was just beyond these trees, it was walking towards us. I reckon the wind has uh, effed me. I've lost the best buck of the day, man. Sort of through no fault of mine. I only can't. <laughs> I don't know which way the wind's going to blow. Although I could have brought a wind indicator, I suppose. Now I called, so I did, we should be able to see its track, which is just there. This is where we saw it walking. And what did it do? It smelt me, I reckon. It wasn't moving. I 
just gonna give a couple of calls because I doubt it's gonna be super far away. See where it. Oh, this is where it was walking across, or that's where it's run off. Oh, it's roaming. Uh, somehow, I don't think it went this far. We didn't see it walk through the tree. Spion man wanted that one. I reckon after that track it turned around. I went the opposite way. That's where we saw it roaming up through the binoculars. I go, right, it's gone behind the tree. And then it just never appeared again. So. <laughs> so obviously obviously ran away and I didn't see it. I was probably calling it when it happened. Get some uh, really nice white tail on this map too. Uh, that's going to be its roaming. All right. Well, we're headed. Up here, we'll keep going that way. Spion man. Where are you, male? No, so that female. Oh, well, that's the way the hunt goes, man. <laughs> you don't want it to, but it happens. I'll come across this way more. Still want a bear. I sort of just keep checking with my binoculars because sometimes you won't hear them, they won't call. Sometimes they will, and because uh, well, you can't call them. You will see them in the distance, just waddling along, as bears do. Try the white tail again. Try and cut across the swamp and then down a bit and see if we can find a bear in them areas.
Well, they, you know, bears are everywhere on this map. It's just a matter of running into one. <laughs> Yeah, that's that female. Oh, it's new. It's a male. All right. Let's uh, give old fat boy a call. Actually, with the right caller. See if we can see him. Ah, well, the wind's not very windy here, so it might be fine. All right, it's going to be sort of directly across. I'm just going to sit up here behind these little uh, reeds. So, and as I get up here, it turns to midnight. Thank you, game. All right, so he should be uh, virtually over there. Just somewhere. Uh, I get my dog to just sit and shut up. I'm going to check the hunter mate again. And it's telling me a, bit, a little bit more that way. So it's either coming like through that crap or it's beyond that little ridge. So I'll give it a call. They do wander in slow, the pigs. The only time they trot is, you know, fleas after they've been shot or scared. They usually just walk. So let's see what happens. I got one male pig today. Two bucks. You know, he could have had a better buck, but we lost it. Now we need a big fat male pig, mate. That's what we need. At this time, it shouldn't smell us, so, you know. Should be good. I reckon it should come straight across here. There it is. Hello, fat boy. Let's see what it looks like when it walks out. There's another little piggy call. Stop behind the trees there. There he is. You little male? There you are, you got tusks. Alright. Maybe a little bit bigger than our last one. Headshot. Didn't leave you much choice. It was just going to walk straight at me, so... Shot it in the head. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully this is worth 30. Tusks look a bit bigger than our last one. Still not super big. We hit the brain. And we're at 42. 43. So that's not bad. Weighed 188 kilos. 
a bit of a fatty. And we're going to get our 43. Thank you, pig. All right, we'll keep going this way. Let me check my map. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it about there. At the top. As I want to, um, yeah, try and get into... See if we can find a bear, man. I thought maybe if we go more... Where it's more sturdy land. I'm going to be hanging around there. Right, let's just have a little rest. Settle the area down. And all the animals just calm down. <laughs> yeah, so two male pigs, two bucks. Now, top it off would be a nice bear, but no guarantees. You do get bobcats here, but they're more, you know, closer to the shore as well than actually out on the swamp area. Well, they do cross the path of it. So, they're pretty cool. They're good looking, uh, good looking model. I don't have, you know, too many of the cats really in this classic game. Probably because I don't have the electronic caller. I was with the jackrabbit caller. Sometimes they come, and sometimes they don't. Mainly they don't. And it's probably saved by the electronic caller. Ended up making money on the werewolf hunt. Like I did buy a few um, med kits, and they were like eleven hundred bucks a pack. The bullets were what, hundred and ten gm a pack. I managed to make money, so that is the main thing. Plus, I had fun. I enjoy the werewolves only once a year, so. Get out there and hunt them. Looking for a bear. No, no bears. Game hates me. Some tracks here, we'll see what they are. Probably feral hog. Yeah, one feral hog. Two feral hog. Uh, make it an even free. Oh, you're not even going to track for me. find a, which this isn't, this is a feral hog fleeing away. It's male though. I 
Oh, wrong controller. Went that way by the looks of it. So they might have been behind the one we shot coming in as well and we didn't notice, didn't see them. We're going to keep going this way. And I'll put a dot about there. Should be cool. I just press automatic walk there for a minute. Press Q. <laughs> and the game do the walking. duck it's American black duck if you went to the duck stand now the duck set up there'd probably be some just landed there uh, looking for bear tracks Track here, probably a pig. Are there bears on the map today? I'm like seriously, haven't even seen one track. Yep, you're a you're a crazy pig. You're another male. Eighty minutes ago, we were running around here. Uh, oh, you you you're coming in. Oh, we would use the right caller. I'd be coming in with the deer grunt. What was it doing coming in behind me? I'll go this side. Oh great, big train away. <laughs> ah, dog. I'll just see if it comes in. It's in a really wooded area though. Hi oh, dog. Go right down buddy. Cause sometimes you hear the dog walking and you wonder, <laughs> am I hearing the pig or the dog? Just make the dog sit. Oh, I'll give a few more calls. Let's see what happens. The wind's not bad. It's blowing across, so it shouldn't be too bad. That pig was out that way. There's no telling which way it's going to go left or right. I th 
because it's coming. Make a noise, Pete. Okay, <laughs> it's not doing anything. Ah, uh, have a drink while we wait. Do you think it'd be around about here? Going by the call, but I was going to come there. I'll say nothing until it's right on top of me. Is it coming though? Where are you, pig? <coughs> no, you're a different one. Probably the female. That's problem when you don't have a clear line of sight. This is what happens. Just try and get a glimpse. It's not calling now. I think the wind now is swinging that way, which is bad. Oh, it's going to keep going, mate. The wind isn't favourable <laughs> that way. I'm going to end up sitting there and the pig will smell me and not come in. That's the problem. One second the wind's sort of okay, next minute it's howling behind your back. It's like, okay, here we go. That's the end of that. <laughs> so I'll walk into the wind, it'd be better for us. Hopefully, we find a bear man. So there's the hills over there. That's sort of where you come in on one of the outposts up that way. Oh, there's previously discovered male pig that must have been the one that was coming in
What are the bears? Sleeping today? They found the honey pot and that's it. <laughs> They're not moving. We've only done four Ks. <laughs> I'm taking forever. Feels like I've walked about 12. Oh, bigger you. Female. Oops, and so now I'm stuck. I'm gonna find the sweet spot here. There we go. And once again, see on the hunter mate where it says it's green? Just sort of walk on that. If you go off of it, well then that's what happens. You get stuck, it's too deep. There's a duck. Must have scared it. Must have been sitting on the water. So if you had a shotgun, you probably could have shot that out of the sky. You know, if you're quick enough. this track please be a bear oh man we've got another buck out here I don't really want to move, I'm just going to sit here. Uh, I'm like my dog shit though. I don't crazy. It's more it that way. That's sort of on the edge. Not be a bloody tiny one. Alright, so is it like around here or a bit that way? But either way, we should see it pop out. This wind does something crazy to me again. Oh, cold, okay. at the back there somewhere oh damn I think the wind's okay so 
but I hope it's more that side than here. Pop out, my friend. It sounds sort of like that way. That way's no good. That's good, that's good. Uh, that's okay. That's not too bad. A bit worried there, I thought it might come in a really bad way. There, there, there. You can just see the tip of the antlers move every now and again. Yeah, it might should come out that way. There's going to be a tree here. So let's walk along that way. So it should pop out here somewhere. So this one definitely looks better than the other two we had. But, go away, pig. Too late. Too late for pigs now. <laughs> I've only got a white tail. Ah, uh, buddy, that do not stop this time and do not get lost. Just keep walking the way you were. There you are. Man, you've gone like a roundabout way here. Get here. That's it, come out up into there. Uh, that one's got to be worth freaking a few bucks. What you reckon, my friends? Oh, I think you've been a really good boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get stuck behind these bad trees here oh, he's a nice nice boy he's walking he stopped uh, let's give him a quick little call that 165 to 205 it should be worth a few bucks it's probably maybe 180 oh man I need him to come out from behind now there he is Oh, beautiful, man. Beautiful. The pigs will run away now. Let's go see our boy. It took him a while to walk right around where we needed him. But he got there. Oh, stop getting stuck, mate. This shoreline's going to kill me here. Oh, get up. We're just here. Am I not on the green bit? Yeah, I know I'm stuck, game. Alright, let's go over here. Uh, 
All right, we made it. Should be up here somewhere. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, that's definitely better rack than earlier today. Look at that. Nice no, moment to take a trophy shot at this one. Dog's liking it. Dog's liking it. Certainly squashed down the grasses. And you can see this bullet wound. Kapow, baby. Ah, right, so. Good girl. Ah, stomach and intestines again, way back. But we got the 100% trophy. No wound time. It was weighed 86. We're going to get 98. So it's a 179. Not bad, not bad. That puts me 34th in the biggest white tail. So you can see there's some huge ones out there. Uh -huh. oh, oh, oh. oh, Mr. Sensitive thing there. Oh, oh. Grab me instead of the deer. I've got to move this head, man. Oh, look at that. That's not too bad. Could be worse. Let's check the filters. That was not bad, although you get the misty bit around the edges, like the photo sort of clear. So I accept that. And there we go, 98, mate. So there we go, nearly 100 GM for one uh, deer. Not bad. So we're going to reposition this to about here. Let's see if we can find a bear before we go and stop running. All right, so not a bad buck, but as you can see, a long way to go with them. Like, that was only 34th in the competition. And if there's, you know, for the biggest buck intermediate, I think I'm in now. Yeah, once you get a buck, though, you don't worry about the pigs, mate, behind you. <laughs> and bugger them. Uh, so we're going to an area where there's going to be a little bit more land. And hopefully we can find a bear. If not, well, we're going to have to come back to it. Just, you know, I've come out here and got three bears in a row sort of thing before. But then you come out like a day like today and you just can't even find a bear track. Like, why? Oh, this looks pretty deep. We're going to get across here. <laughs> All right. Here's another point of interest. We'll have a little look while we're here. I think it's an old port or something, if I'm right. I can't remember. Is this it? What is this one here? Yeah, I think it's an old building over there or some crap. The old walls. They used to have something there. Oh, what's this track? Pigs. And 28,000 pigs, mate. More pigs. Not what we're after. We'll take them. It's a male, but, you know. Yeah, so that point of interest is just that. It's like an old, you know, like they had a house there or some shit. Or something. <laughs> right there now. Let's 
Sometimes it looks like you're walking in real deep water, and other times you can't get across something that's really shallow. Like, what is going on? Let's double check the map again. Alright, we're going the right way. Looking for a black bear. Or a bobcat, that'd be awesome. We get one of those. Come across here. See, I'll let the play Call of Wild soon. I'm just not really in the mood for it yet. I just don't know why. <laughs> More ducks. Well, there's a female white tail. I mean, luckily, all the white tail we've seen today have been bucks. That's our first female, which is pretty weird. Usually, you get more of them. Ah, let's look around the binoculars. This way. I'll have to change the title of the video. I have to <laughs> white tail and feral hog. I like to pick up that, you know, that the duck is roaming. <laughs> I even swim around somewhere down there. Ah, I'm still alive. <laughs> I was thinking then. Pretty much nearly across the swamp, which is cool. I don't know, maybe they forgot to put the bears on this morning. <laughs> Usually you found the track by now. All the one track. Where are they? Keep walking. Now, Bobcat would be good, but it's probably too much to ask for. But I did bring a, a cat, a gun that I can use on him. Yep, there's that female white tail. Don't want her falling on me.
Oh god. Uh, oh, why tell a good? Check the map again. Okay. Dotting back this way. And uh, yeah, see what happens. It's a good way to see the map though. Yeah. It's a nice map to explore. I like it. Oh, where is it? that collectible? Yeah, we got a shark tooth fossil man. And it's 4,529 years old. That's worth keeping your hunter mate in your hand when it goes zit zit real quick. That means it's a collectible under you. There we go. Not all mushrooms, we've got a shark tooth. I'm not sure I've ever gotten a shark tooth before, so that's pretty cool. Come on, bears. Where are you, mate? Like it's what, 11.25 in the morning? I think the bear be awake by now. Looking for lunch. Right there, looking for a white towel to eat. Nothing wrong with that, like white out. A mule deer. They're quite nice in this game. Plus the antlers seem to vary a lot more. Alright, more ducks. And you have the non-typicals here, which are pretty cool. And pretty rare. <laughs> Gotta say, they're pretty rare non-typicals. Alright, man, come on. No bear tracks. We're starting to get into a better bear area, so if we can't find them over here, well, <laughs> don't be wrong. Uh, I found plenty of ducks crawling. I should put a Bigfoot on one of these maps. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? I can make them really rare, but if you find a Bigfoot track, you know there's one on the map, and you have a chance of hunting it down. Imagine putting that in your lodge. <laughs> Bigfoot. Oh no, I'm stuck, I'm drowning. Where is the green? All right, let's go over this way. i got ducks out over there. All right, hopefully we can cross here. There we go. Oh, always quiet on the western front.
So they're actually getting into like um, mountainous areas. <laughs> Let's see if we can find a bear out here. There's got to be a chance. As if not, I'm changing the title of this video. <laughs> I thought for sure we'd get a bear or two today. But it is good, because you can't call them in. It is by chance. You've got to find the track. You've got to see the bear in front of you or hear a growl and go, all right, there's a bear over there. But you can't just sit back and call them in. But you can put a bear barrel in this game. You can put a bear barrel down with the bait in it. And, you know, you just put a tree stand and a tent near there. And you can bow and arrow them or shoot them, whatever. You know, you don't even need a tree stand, really. But you come in handy. All right, so let's walk into this area where it's really more um, or less. We'll be walking into the forest. So I'm just going to go on this hill. I'm going to just go fill up my drink. It'll only take me a minute, and then I'll be right back. And I'll put in about another half an hour or so and see if we can grab a bear here somewhere. How's that over there? It's probably a rock, right? It's a bear! We've had a freaking bear, man! Now, look at that. Look at that bear. We found a bear! <laughs> no way, that's gonna be a rock, right? That is a bear. Oh man, that is like a million mile away bear. I think we hit it near the shoulder. It's down, it's down, bear down, bear down. They're rolling down hell there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah man, we found a bear. I can leave the title as it is. That is so awesome. <laughs> Alright, we got a mark across there. Alright. Damn you, bear. We found you. But seriously, I've found bears out here heaps of times. So now we have had to come all the way here. So I said, if you usually start here, you'll probably get, you know, bears, bobcats, and white tails straight away. No, no feral pigs. Once again, there's no guarantee you're going to find them. Uh, let's see if we can run. Uh, well, the bullpup done its job. It's a powerful gun. And it's a nice light gun, too. Oh. Uh, we know we're near the, near the edge here, so please let me get on to the land. Uh, here we are. Here we are. Could be good. Could be good. All right. Thank you, Michael. It's nice. Now, was my dot true? Why is there no bear shining up here? There's bear tracks, right? So there's got a bear tracks there. Oh no, I didn't want to. Did I have. Oh, no, let's just go over here. Or is this its tracks? No. Ah, put the dot. Why is the... Is the bear not being here? It did roll. It did roll down. So it might have been on one of these ledges here. I 
Hello, hello, bear. That's great. We shot it now. I can't find it. It's like, yeah, comedy of errors. Right, it should be around the edge here because it was before the water. It was like on the edge. We shot it. It rolled. So like, yeah, good bear. Go for a roll. Where the frick did you roll? Ah, right, what's this? Blood. We got blood? Ah, here he is. Here he is. Oof. Let's just check the blood spot. Oh, we did hit heart and lungs. So, very nice. Well, where the hell did it go again? It's just here. Here it is. All right. It's hiding in a hole here. So I couldn't find it. All right. Cool. I want to take a trophy shot. Why not? It's the only bear we got today. Alright, so sit there, bear. Be a good bear. Oh, we hit it twice. Left lung was the first shot. So I went through the shoulder blade. Then we hit the right hind leg. So that would have died anyway with that shot. So we got a second shot in. The wound time was 5.2. And we get 83.3. Score is 19. It's not a bad score for a bear. Not a bad score. Oh, 500 bullpup uh, harvest. So that's 500 shots with the bullpup. So very nice. And that puts me 23rd in shoot a bear with a rifle edition. Heavy bear. So. Uh, light's not very good here. Uh. Oh, it looks like you're, you're howling like a wolf, my friend. Oh, beautiful. There we go, 83. We'll have one more look around here while we're here now on this side. Uh, so if you're on the map, we're here. So on, on the, you know, green area. And we actually found our first bear man. It took, um, how long have I been recording for? Two hours and 32 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but well, we did get some uh, feral hogs and whitetail. Uh, top it off, be not getting a nice bobcat, but man, they are like, you hear them here, and I call them with that uh, jackrabbit caller, and it's like, get calling and calling, so they don't want to know about it. That's pretty cool to see that bear, though, very nice. But you shouldn't have to just come here to get bear. Look, there's a bobcat that roaming. Let's see, see where its tracks go. Okay, is it going to walk straight for us? Like, my bobcat uh, tracking won't be super good. It'll be pretty low level. Alright, we've got a track here, though. So just... If you get three in a row, that'll help level up your, you know, your bobcat tracking. Just got to, like, click three. So we can find our next one, then it'll help level us up. I'll just keep walking in the arc that it's given us. If the cat does turn all of a sudden, or, you know, ran off and ran off this line, well, yeah, we won't find it. I'll go back this way a bit. Usually cats don't like water. Huh? It'd be nice to see one just sitting out there like we saw the bear, though. See what I mean? Like you can't call them. You just sort of see them in the distance. 
or you find a track and then try and track it down. Like a real hunter. <laughs> now here's, here's our cat one. So you can see it's still in the arc, right on the edge of it, but it wasn't going too straight there. And this cat's just roaming. There's a bear track. I've gotten a couple of bobcats on this map but once again they're like super long shots man they're like they were really far away Well, sort of like that, like I was on one side and I could see the bobcat, like right across. And the gun I'm using is a pretty low level gun, so <laughs> it can get a bit wobbly. Although the bullpup's a high level gun, but I can't use a bullpup on a bobcat. Gotta use a 223. So every now and again you do get lucky, you just in the distance, you'll either hear it and you can spot it and see it. Or you won't hear it and you just see it. And you gotta take the shot sometimes, you know what I mean? Because if you wait too long, you could uh go out of render range. Have a look along this coast bit here. I don't know what we'll see. There we go, there's a bear. Roaming. Went down here. It's gone down to the water, the bear. How long ago? I have no idea. Let's have a look around. So the bear could walk across there. Gone this way. So my bear tracking isn't as high as it should be. Now it's gone that way because it doesn't tell me how long ago the bear wandered through. Like with my deer and pigs at will. Well, that's a cat. That's a cat, man. That's a bear. There it's cat. Oh, see? These are the things. Maybe we can see this in the distance. So we can try the jackrabbit call, right? Which, do I have it on me? And in case it does come, I'm going to have to go like that, put that in there. Go upon it, load it. Semi auto 223. Actually, a nice little gun. It's a wobbly little gun because it's a low level gun. So. And these bobcats don't run in like a, like a puppy dog or anything. They take their time. That's if it even, you know, this might not, you know, answer that call. Now, if you had the electronic one thing, you could just set one up around here, like on this road, and just turn it on, and then sit back in a tree stand or something, uh, back there somewhere. 
as you know, it's not like you'll get five in a row run now. You probably only get one at a time. So they just shoot him with the two, two, three. I'll give this uh, cat a few calls, but I don't, you know. That's why I've only got a couple of them here, because it's just by chance. So it's on the other side of that hill. I need it to pop across the hill. They didn't give me a clear shot, eh? <laughs> we'll give it a few minutes, we'll see. But like I said, they're very slow, these cats. I'll give it a decent call. If we can hear it call, it can hear that call. So it knows that something's calling over here. Like an injured rabbit, so... We just need it to pop up over that hill. And even if we wound it with the 223, it should eventually kill it. And then it's call again. So it knows, we know that it's interested. But, you know. This is the problem with this caller. Like it just, most of the time, I've had it, you know, they've come into it before. But it's a uh, hit and miss. You know, the cat might just keep wandering wherever it was going, which may not be over this hill. But then again, it may be. Nice foot walk down that hill right there. And we got a nice snap at it. That'd be a nice way to finish the hunt off. We just got a bear, so it'd be nice to finish it off with a bobcat. Oh, we've got a bloody white tail. <laughs> it's only a small male. That's popped out. And for a minute there I thought, there's a cat. And I saw its head, no, it's a white tail. I usually would shoot the white tail, but not at the moment. There are better things around. That's only tiny. All the other white tail we've got today were far better than that, so we wouldn't be missing out. But yeah, there he is. Look at him. So he doesn't know we're here, so the cat won't know we're here either. If they don't have... Both deer and cat will probably be able to smell us out. Come on, buddy. See, it should, although cats, you know, very, very rarely walk in a straight line. <laughs> Hopefully it should pop out around here if it's coming. And you think it'd give us another call if it was interested? as well I actually think we'd hear it so it's still like when it called it was way on the other side of that hill you know what cats are like you can call your own cat home for dinner and it was doing something that <laughs> doesn't want to come and just totally ignores you Uh, well, let's give it a minute. We'll see what happens. As we can sort of walk up that way, but then, you know. So, man, these cats are very, um... I will... Probably the next thing I buy will be maybe one of those, um... Electronic caller boxes. So then I can do the, the bobcat, the puma, all the other stuff they got that calls, you know, for them to be called in. Because my numbers on all them cats are low. There might even be one that I don't even have, so... Because I don't really go out and hunt them that much. 
to be honest. Usually hunting deer and bear and stuff like that. The water buffalo are good in this game. They're very nice. Huge horns on them. That's in the tropical part of Australia. So they need water if you go there. They don't dress in your polar bear outfit. <laughs> Alright, this cat hasn't even called back, man. Might have a little wander over there, though. But we see our dear friend walking off. He's in no rush. But we can't see the cat, man. So the thing is here, either side you're going to get the cat and the bear, where it's sort of like this bushy part here. And you get less feral uh, pigs, so, oh, these tracks. There's another bear track went along here. There's that buck. That'll be him, right? I don't really want him. Just try and scan across and see if we can see anything interesting. Another white tail. So the cat right, was pretty much dead ahead over this ridge. And as we saw, it didn't really come to us, didn't really bother even calling back. Would have been sitting out there somewhere. And I think unless they really get spooked, they're not going to, you know, be running at a million miles an hour. They're just sort of sauntering along. So if you're lucky, it could still be in view. Their colour should stand out if you see them. But they're not green. <laughs> but as you can see, who knows where the hell it is or where it went. I suppose we can have a look there. Might have been heading down towards the water. Yeah, but I think I'm going to buy one of those uh, electronic callers and we'll have a cat hunt. A little cat one. There it is, see? It was dead straight on that bit. And here's his tracks. There's that bark, we're ignoring that. Uh, it's Roman, so it didn't run away. Uh, does it? You know, there's some tracks there. 
But I think it's gone down near the water. Uh, we've got a, a circle. That could be a false circle. We're just going to keep tracking it. Usually that means that it's very close. Oh, it was asleep here. Look. That's not it. They're asleep, is it? Don't move, dog. What is that there? That's a rock. I'm gonna say, how lucky could you get? I've snuck up on deer and that before sleeping. Seriously, in this game. Even a bear, I think. Like a few animals, you'll catch them sleeping sometimes. Alright, so the circle's gone, so I'm not sure if that's an old track. I'm going to look over this edge anyway, even though the track's gone back that way, but that could have been when it was walking to bed. And this is why you need the electronic caller. I can't see any cat track. Oh no, there's one here. There's one over here. Roaming? Oh, going the opposite way again though. that noise man that bobcat's still around this area somewhere No tracks near the water though. Need it to make a another call. Of course, you know. <laughs> so the wind was good, now the wind's sort of bad. The wind was good the way we were coming. Wind is smelters. Oh, we came in that way and did it walk out this way. Did it walk out the opposite way. Fling, you bastard. So, maybe we were very close to it and we didn't realise. Roaming. Where did you flee to, cat? Now that it's fleet, I doubt we're ever going to um, see it again. Ducks. Go ahead, ducks. There it is, fleeing this way. Pity man. That's roaming now, back the other way. So this cat must hang around here. I've got tracks of fleeing, roaming, sleeping. It's like, uh, this is where it hangs out. <laughs> Whereabouts it ran to. What was that? Oh, another duck. Oh, look over this edge. Might have went right round us and back the way we actually came.
Hey there, friend. He's still, um, he's still with us. <laughs> Crazy bastard. He's only a small one. Let's walk down to where he is anyway. Get a good view down here. At least we got a bear. We heard a cat. Didn't see it. We heard one. And we tracked it a little bit. And, uh, yeah. We need to see one just sitting out there. I look over this uh, point of interest. I did get a cat there once, amazingly. I was just sitting out there. That's uh, good luck when that happens. What's this track? So that white tail all the time we were here didn't even know we were around. There's another white tail track. I'm oh, a silly boy. bad that way though. I think he's just over there somewhere. So we can see a cat out here. It's a nice area this too, it's actually really peaceful. There he is. A little bar stitchy. See how close he walks up. Man, he is super close. That is just crazy. Oh, there he goes. He saved his own life, you little bugger. <laughs> I really didn't want to shoot him anyway. Ah, oh, that was funny. We've seen it about three times, the same bloody white tail. I was saying he's getting really close, like usually a male one. <laughs> I'll know you there. Especially the wind was blowing that way a tad, so I'm surprised. Now, this is a little point of interest here. I've got a cat right here or just across from it once. Uh, white tail still running. Look, there he goes. There he goes. He doesn't know what, what to do. Run, you bastard. He's freaked out. Poor thing. Probably try and swim for it, eh?
I can't come back and hit you. I <laughs> knock you over and stuff. I right, just check this out. What have we got here? So you got like a lean to, and there's a fire that isn't on anymore. So you can see the like the heat coming off of it. I can actually stand on it now and not die. Okay, you got a bench, some stuff. Let me check the pier out. Here's our track of our crazy deer. That leaves to find another day. There we go, dog's gonna go swimming. That's, uh, that's what dogs do, man. Uh, if you fall off this, you will drown, probably. It looks pretty deep. There you go, we had a hunt today. We got, what did we get? One bear. I think three white-tailed bucks. Three feral hogs. And that's about it. We heard a cat. We only got the one bear, unfortunately. I probably should have started on this side. The problem is, once you start hunting here, you know, if in an hour, you'll be sort of, you've scared her off and out of it, or... <laughs> So usually then walk out into the swamp. Yeah, I want a bad hunt. I will be back here. I want to get some more bear. We'll probably maybe go for brown bear next time. I'll put a barrel out and uh, see if we can get some. And uh, yeah, we'll leave the dog there and he can swim around uh, or she can. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. I will be back, I don't know, maybe tonight. I've been playing Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 a bit lately or over the weekend with something anyway guys thanks for popping in and i'll catch you all on the next one thanks guys